So if we were trying to <laughs> drop some of that, <laughs> drop some of that top coat on there. Oh, man! Did you check? Did you find the van? Yeah. Is it 2020? Today we're ceramic coating this 2021 Chevy Blazer. What did you find up here? Just a couple scratches. A little on this trim thing still. This one, oh, there we go. There are some marks over here too, right? Yeah, the etching. Yeah. Some etching on the pinstripe. So there's some back here too, right? Yeah. There as well. Look at all those swirl marks too. It's gonna be interesting doing the cracks and crevices on this. On the outside, we're doing the, the rinseless. See how it goes. You know, if it works, it works. You could tell someone used like a quick detailer on this. Yeah. Did you guys get this etching mark on this side too? How's it look under there? It's clean. Clean? Yeah. yeah. So yeah. How were these to start the wheels? Very clean. Very clean? Yeah, they were not bad shape at all. So usually we use a foam cannon to prep the vehicles for paint correction and ceramic coatings, but today we're going to try something new. We're going to be using a rinseless wash. So it just cuts down a couple steps in the prep bay process, and we're going to see if we can do this a little bit more efficiently. Yeah, so this vehicle has pretty much no bugs on it and no tar. Again, it's a 2021, so this thing's in pretty good shape. So that's why this is a good contestant for a rinseless wash. How's getting in the cracks with, without foam? It seems like it's doing a good job. <laughs> It's working, it's just different. <laughs> you wanna take a little piece of this? You only wanna need like a, yeah. like a tiny amount. John scrubbing away, prepping that glass for glass parency. We need fender flares. <laughs> Loose getting after it with the compounding. For this paint, we're using a purple wool Americana Global cutting pad paired up with the Americana Global's 1500. And then for the polishing, we're gonna be using a Rupes yellow pad. We're gonna be doing two cross hatches with that. Americana Global's finesse for the finer polish. finish all the compounding, all the heavy compounding to remove all of the big swirls in the paint. After compounding, the pads and the liquid usually leave a little bit of haze on the paint, making it not as glossy and clear. So they're going over it now with the Rupes yellow pad and a fine jeweling polish to polish out the rest of the compound haze. So this is the paint after compounding and polishing. It's not hazy, it's glossy. So we're looking good. This thing's almost ready for the sauce. Blazer. All right guys, now that we're at the clean side of the shop, we're gonna install glass parency and then start installing top coat. Are you doing detail now? Yeah. So if we were trying to drop some of that <laughs> Drop some of that top coat on there. Oh, dang. That's some good sauce. <laughs> you gonna put all of that on the blazer? <laughs> Like these yeah. inserts. Yeah. yeah. All right. Look less like a Camaro. I think that's why I don't like it. Really? <laughs> it kind of looks like a Camaro, right? A little bit. Like a poofy Camaro. 
Like there was a dive version of a Camaro and a Euros. This would be a Camaro. You all know Camaros? I do. I like this thing. You know, it's trying to look like a Camaro. You're like, that's <laughs> why I don't like it. Because it reminds me of a Camaro and I don't want to hate it. <laughs> what is this computer? Is this in the same class as like a Grand Cherokee? It's not small. I mean, then you can talk about like, the Patriot or the Renegade. Yeah. So my mom's Oh yeah? Yeah, I think so. <laughs> <laughs> nah, she loved it. Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, she loves it. She loves it. <laughs> what are your plans tonight, John? Got any, any fun going on? Uh, tonight? I have no idea. I don't think anything. Maybe some good cards. <laughs> gotcha. Is that a nice thing? Lately, we've been quiet with him. We've been getting, getting yelled at a little bit, but... <laughs> kind of. Yeah. I don't know. I live in an apartment complex, yeah. so I have like 130 neighbors in it. Yeah. <laughs> well, we chill with like the, the property manager of the place. And he doesn't care. He gets all the calls about people complaining. He's like, I'm on the go-kart. <laughs> <laughs> it's like you're calling the wrong calling, guy. Calling the go-karts. <laughs> Uh, the latest thing all my buddies have is little remote control rock crawlers. That's the newest thing. <laughs> want me to get on? I was like, I can't justify spending five hundred dollars. Oh, and they just like climb. Yeah, they're on like scaled like four link suspension, scaled like forty inch tires. It's like this little truck. <laughs> and there's like a little creek by where we live. Just like drove straight up it. Like didn't nothing stopped it. No. Up a creek. Then it caught on fire later. <laughs> My next investment is gonna be a pit bike. A pit bike? Yeah, yeah, yeah. my buddy just bought one for 100 bucks. It has like a snowblower motor on it. <laughs> <laughs> Not correct, but. Oh, wait, it was a Challenger scat pack. Yeah. yeah. Why did I think it was a Challenger scat pack? <laughs> yeah, okay. So, yeah, he's got a two Challengers, two Camaros, and then two Mustangs. He actually drove his Camaro through the automatic today. No. And we, we were like, yeah, the one that, remember the one that had the pinstripes and that yeah. was all yeah. chopped up in the front, anyways? That I, like, I don't think he really cares too much about. But <laughs> I saw him go through that. He uh, he just picked up a GT350. No a way. brand a brand new one. Yeah, he's, he's like, I gotta get it to you guys ASAP. Yeah, you do. He's like, let me just find the time. So <laughs> we might. Fingers crossed. He brings that brand. It's a brand new one. Like I think it's 2021. GT350. Hoping that thing out with Joe. Sure. You gotta start hanging out with Joe. Yeah, I know. What is he? What is he? <laughs> Who was that guy that like? Is that? Didn't he used to be a racer or something? Yeah, 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 yeah. He used to race cars too. Yeah. He was like, he was talking, he was on the phone with Brian. He's like, like I'm a millionaire. He's like, but well, I couldn't pass this one up. Just to be out of good deal. Pass this one. Sure. Motors, flat plane cranks, and the voodoo's. It's funny. Yeah, it's, it's crazy. It's the sound of them. Did you see? Did you see the thing on? Uh, was it Motor Trend when the they were doing like the drum, the drumming? And they're like, this is what a normal engine sounds like. And it was like, oh, it was him going like, doo -doo 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 -doo. and then like, the, it was like the flat plane, and he's like, <laughs> <"Bah!"> <laughs> These are crazy. Yeah. Yeah, I gotta talk to this guy. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm almost ready to go single turbo. Yeah. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Single five? Oh, I'll be at 800 soon. <laughs> <laughs> Not even kidding. Really? True. Stock block. <laughs> if, you get, if you do 800, if you do 800, you gotta take it for a ride. I will, but my plan, I'm not gonna, obviously, I'm not gonna daily 800. Yeah. I want like a 600 Six. daily. Yeah, I keep it so fun on that. It's real, real soon. So you're gonna be getting squirrely every time you get on it. What did your car weigh? Uh, I think it's like uh, 32 pounds. 32? Yeah. yeah. That's actually pretty light. It's, yeah, it's pretty light. The sedans are a lot heavier yeah. and the convertibles because the hard top convertibles had so much weight. It's <laughs> I mean, if you want to just slap top of it on it, yeah, just, just do that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you guys, you guys put uh, top put on the on the lights. That's a no. Maybe you should. Yeah, okay. <laughs> <laughs> if, it's, if it's a, eh, it's probably a no. Yeah, look at that. Look at the wheels. <laughs> Whole lot of sauce. 
Alright guys, so this Blazer RS is completely done. All we have to do now is a couple final touches on it. So we're just going to triple check to see if there's any dust left in any of the cracks and crevices of the body panels or in any of the emblems. So we just finished doing all the final touches on this Blazer RS. If you guys like this video, smash that like button, subscribe to the channel, and then we'll see you in the next one. That's some good sauce. <laughs>